Earlier in the month, we started looking at Hans Wormhat's top 10 fake animals. We had the shoebill crane, the sloth, and even the dodo. We looked at entries 10 to 6, and I promised another video looking at Hans's top 5. So this video is that. Welcome to Hans Wormhat's top 5 fake animals in the world. <laughs> and welcome along to another Tinfoil Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Mel Science. Mel Science is a subscription service that offers monthly STEM science boxes, which combines hands-on experiments with VR and AR technologies to engage kids in studying science. They are definitely breaking the stereotype that science is boring, difficult, and only for certain types of people by striving to make serious science accessible, interesting, and cool. Science is about exploration, experiments, discovery, and asking questions, all of which comes very naturally to children. And my son is no different. He asks what feels like a million questions questions a day. And he is recently taking a keen interest in crystals and what things are made from. So we tried this tin hedgehog experiment from the Mel Chemistry Starter Kit. These kits give you two to three new experiments on a new chemistry topic every month and with free VR lessons in the Mel Chemistry app. As you can see, he got stuck in with all of it. The instructions were easy to follow and by the time we were finished, his interest in chemistry had grown exponentially. I was delighted with the result because not only had he learned something, but we'd also spent quality time together as well. Use the promo code SIMANDAN to get a 50% discount on the first month of any Mel subscription, or just click the link in the description which already contains the promo code. But be quick, because this promo code has only got a one month time limit on it. Right, back to today's video, which as I said at the start, is a top five fake animals video from Hans Wormhat. But before we get into it, a quick rundown of entries 10 to six. In at number 10 was of course the anaconda, number nine was the shoebill, number eight the dodo, number seven the anteater, and number six the sloth, obviously. So let's carry on where we left off and see Hans's top five. Bringing us to number five on the list, koalas. This was a big viral pushed video on YouTube and you can clearly see it's CGI. That's not a real animal. Clearly see it's CGI. How can you tell with that resolution, Hans? But anyway, a lot of you predicted the koala would be in the top five, so well done to you. This video is just obvious CGI. And yeah, koalas are a fake animal. That's why these look like really bad puppets made of wool. Koalas are a bit, people from Australia gatekeep this so bad. They're, there's big time YouTube alleged truthers that they refuse to admit that, that these are just stuffed. Well, yeah, you would though, wouldn't you? If someone was claiming that an animal indigenous to your country was fake, then I think you would too, wouldn't you? Even though it's clear that they're stuffed. Giving you the one eye. Koalas are a hoax. If you go look at photos of koalas, their, their hands are just totally rigid. They don't grip objects. They just have like flat pancake hands. Anyways, this video is more about making this list, the top 10 list. I don't want to get into any one specific thing too much. Well, the koala is another one on this list that I have actually seen with my own eyes whilst I was in Australia. I stood this close to one and I can tell you they are 100% real. There was this, this viral koalas in the car and everybody could tell that they were stuffed they're like they're not moving one of them like barely twitches and everybody's like no 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 look at that one it barely twitches <laughs> they're all alive uh that one just had a little bit of battery left i guess enough to do a little ear twitch but look they're dead how can they be dead if according to you they were never alive in the first place hans they're taxidermy it's taxidermy it's a big taxidermy hoax Again, Hans, with taxidermy, the animal was once alive. So if you're saying taxidermy, then you either don't know what that means or you're debunking yourself. I think we're, are we already on number four? Penguins. No prizes for guessing that penguins would be on this list. Again, if you said penguins, well done. The emperor penguins, the orange emperor penguins, the ones that they make movies about, the South Pole. Is it's not icy Antarctica. There's a lot of hoaxery when it comes to Antarctica and emperor penguins. Emperor is 33 and they're animatronics. That's why you don't see emperor penguins 
in the zoo. Except for nowadays they do, but they put them far in the back or you'll just see a few CGI videos. Well, they're generally not kept in captivity because it's so hard to do so. They are a true Antarctic species. Replicating their environment to live in is extremely hard to do. Oops. Okay. Number two. Is this really number two? Maybe I lost track. Three. <laughs> Great white sharks are a hoax. Oh my days, he's lost count and everything. So number three is great white sharks. Interesting though that he didn't say it's all sharks. That's why they have to do shark week. You get a whole week to it. It's another one that they sold with the movie Jaws. They like to sell things with a movie. Anaconda movie, we get the Jaws movie. They don't survive in captivity. And you get so much obvious. This just reminds me exactly of those really bad Anaconda CGIs. Sharknado. Yeah, I can't defend that one. Dead eyes. They have dead eyes because they're not alive. They're just little toys a lot of times. A lot of times they really do sell like a little rubber plastic toy as a real thing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this doesn't look much like a little toy to me. Lar larger than life movie magic. That's what it's about. They take sharks and they just make them larger than life. They'll use cinematic effects. They'll use special lenses. They use forced perspective, scary music, CGI, submersibles. You know, for the Jaws movie, they made a, a mock-up submersible. Yeah, well, try directing a 7.5 meter long shark for a movie and see where that gets you. It's CGI. When you just know that it's it's CGI, you can you can tell. Yeah, you can just tell. There's so many photos of of great whites, and a lot of them have expressions. Like, look at that. It's like a snarling smile expressions. It, it they can give them expressions because it's just Photoshop. Yeah, because if you're trying to fake an animal, you'll definitely give it expressions. Let's move on to Hans's number two in the list. Okay, two. Now I'm back on the numbering, I think. Number two, fake animal pandas. It's the poster child of the WWF. WWF, it's fake, just like the World Wrestling Federation. Does Hans think anything is real? It's kind of a truth in plain sight, them doing that name change. The WWF is about as real as wrestling. And this, I just want to talk again, this animal thing, it's like a, a no, no touch topic for a lot of truthers, which shows you that they're gatekeepers. Why, why is this aspect of society? Oh no, this is true. There's no deception here. Nobody lies about animals. How could anybody claim that? The, it's just, it's a topic that people haven't thought about before. It's a topic that not many people talk about, so... But what is the benefit of making up animals? Why do it? That's the question we all want to know, Hans. But they're clearly gatekeeping it because there's people out there that they, they talk about all sorts of deception. They can talk about how outer space is clearly fake. They can talk about how NASA is clearly CGI. But then you bring up this animal thing. Oh, no, no, you're crazy. You're crazy. Well, not crazy, just a bit misguided, perhaps. And it just shows you that they're gatekeepers. Why, why is this one topic where, oh, everything that they tell you about animals is true? No, everything is a lie. Everything is a deception. Everything on the TV is fake. All right, Hans, we get it. Let's hear your number one fake animal then, buddy. And lastly, okay. Top number one fake animal. It's kind of cheating because it's many, many animals. The great apes are all a hoax. So that includes humans as well then, Hans, does it? Because let's not forget, we're great apes too, aren't we? They are humans in fursuits, and it's clearly satanic deception to make people believe in evolution and to think that they're a monkey. A great ape isn't a monkey, just saying. I liken this to NASA Outer Space Land. If you have the discernment to be able to tell that NASA's BS, you absolutely should have the discernment to be able to tell that gorillas are people in suits, and that all of these great apes are just like NASA's there to sell you the outer space fantasy. Great apes are here to sell you the evolution fantasy, to make people believe that they are monkeys. But there is a ton of evidence for evolution that doesn't even include great apes. Again, 
Makes no sense at all, this one. People believe it. People really believe that. And the reason that they believe that is this great ape hoax. Their fursuits. Orangutans, they're orange. Orange is 33. They're just really, really nice fursuits. This is why there are thousands upon thousands of studio quality photos. If you just go look into orangutans, you will find thousands of studio quality photos of these perfectly clean alleged wild animals. And it's just, some of them are over the top. I have a lot of videos about these, so that's, I don't want to talk too much about it. Good, let's leave it there then. I think this is number one for Hans because it's the one that hurts his religion the most. These evolution deniers, they just can't leave it alone, can they? Well, there we go. What a wonderful look into the mind of Hans Wormhat that was. We have finally finished his top 10 fake animals in the world and what a top five it was as well. For now though, we're all done and dusted on another Tim Ford Tuesday. I'm sure we'll be taking a look at Hans again in the future. But for now, thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed watching today, please do consider subscribing. Again, if you want to check out the first part of this, entries 10 to 6, I'll leave that link in the description. And if you really enjoyed it, of course, hit that like button. Just enough time to once again thank Mel Science for sponsoring today's video. Remember, for a 50% discount off the first month of any of Mel's subscriptions, use the promo code SIMANDAN or click the link in the description, which already has the promo contained. I've been Simon Dan, have yourself a great day, and I'll see you all again tomorrow for another Misconception Mini. See you then. <laughs>